Crypto is crashing once again. It is officially all over. It is the end of the world. The sky is falling. Hello everybody, my name is Sanad and welcome to another episode of The Clever Millionaire. Over the last 24 hours, we have experienced another major flash crash in the crypto space. Bitcoin is down to $38,000. Ethereum is down to $2,700. There's a ton of panic in the markets. It is red all over. In this video, I'll be giving you guys three big reasons on why I believe the market crashed. Right now, there's a lot of fear in the market, a lot of blood on the streets, and in my opinion, that presents an amazing opportunity to buy the dip. And putting my money where my mouth is, that is exactly what I did today. I invested $10,000 in a single project. Towards the end of this video, I will show you exactly what project I bought on the dip and at what price. Also, I have never purchased this project before, but I believe over the next two weeks, it can potentially double my investment. But before we get started, I would appreciate it if you smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. Also, check out the links in the description box below for some free crypto. Also, check out the KuCoin link as well. In my opinion, that is one of the best exchanges out there. They have some amazing projects on there that can make you a ton of money. One of the biggest reasons the crypto markets crashed was because the Russian Central Bank issued a proposal that would pretty much blanket ban everything crypto related, including buying and holding crypto, trading, and crypto mining. The reason why this news is so damaging to crypto is because it puts the entire space under one umbrella. We have seen a lot of countries over the years introduce bills to regulate crypto, to ban crypto mining, to pretty much put tighter restrictions, and a ton of other steps. But we have not seen a country come out and say, we're gonna ban everything crypto related. And that is what caused the beginning of the flash crash that we are experiencing right now. But you gotta keep one thing in mind. It is just a proposal. It hasn't been signed into law and it hasn't gone into effect. So we have to stay positive. A lot of countries come out and say they're gonna ban crypto, they're going to do this, and then the news simply vanishes, and a month from now, nobody will even remember this article. But right now, it is definitely damaging the crypto space. About a week ago, I made a video titled Big Crash Incoming, Take Profits Now. And in that video, I talked about Russia and how it could pretty much drag the market down. And it was time to definitely start taking profits. That video got a bunch of hate, bunch of negative comments, a couple of dislikes as well. A lot of people simply wanna hear positive news all the time. Nobody wants to hear, yo, take profits. The market could crash next week. People want all positive news. And in my opinion, we got to step back and look at the market as it is. We cannot be feeling the FOMO 24-7. Cointelegraph reported the Russian central bank compared Bitcoin to a pyramid scheme and demanded an immediate ban on its use domestically. The central bank also warned crypto could pose a risk to the financial sovereignty of the nation. One thing to keep in mind is that Russia is the third biggest crypto mining hub in the world. So definitely keep an eye out on Russia, Ukraine, and the entire conflict. Because I believe over the next couple of weeks, we can see a lot more negative news, especially if that conflict escalates. And that could trigger another flash crash in crypto and in the stock market. And now let's briefly talk about the second reason why the market crashed, and that is a direct correlation to the stock market. Every time I open up my Webull account to check my stocks and I see that they are pumping, I go over to my crypto accounts and they're pumping as well. I go back to my Webull account, the stock market is crashing. I look at my crypto, it is crashing as well. Right now, there's definitely 100% a direct correlation between the stock market and crypto. Right now, there's definitely a lot of fear in the stock market. And that is why a lot of the major stocks have been dropping big time. And that is directly affecting crypto. And crypto is crashing even more. So in my opinion, the stock market will definitely have to start correcting for crypto markets to start taking off once again. Another big reason why the market is crashing is because the US Fed inflation measures. 
everyone knows that the Fed will be increasing interest rates. And on January 25th and the 26th, they will show us exactly how much they will increase interest rates. And all of this is definitely negative for the stock market and the crypto space. And that is, in my opinion, the three big reasons why the market is crashing. And now before we end this video, I will show you exactly where I invested $10,000 into. And the full 10,000 went into one single project. And that project is called Tata Network. So Tata Network right now is priced at $3.74. It is down over 18% a huge, huge correction for Tata. The price that I bought in is $3.84. But right now I'm definitely down a little bit. But I believe this will definitely bounce back and have a nice little recovery. The market cap is 3.7 billion. And when we take a look at the one day chart, you will see a lot of red. It went from $4.58 to $3.74, a nice little correction. And when we zoom out to the one year chart, you will see that Tata has been consolidating over the last couple of months. And in my opinion, it is definitely getting ready to start pumping once again. Tata Network is the next generation video and entertainment blockchain powered by you. The Tata Ecosystem 2022 is launching in 11 days. And I believe the closer we get to launch, the higher the price of Tata will go to. In my opinion, this is definitely an amazing project. Also, they have some amazing partners from NASA to Chainlink to Decentraland and a ton of other ones. Tata is a great project and I believe their ecosystem is going to be absolutely amazing. So here's my strategy with my position. I invested $10,000. Once my $10,000 becomes $20,000, I will take out my initial investment and then I will have a moon bag of Tata and I will simply keep it for the long term because I believe this project can definitely make some big moves in the future. So I definitely want to have a huge bag of Tata. That is my plan, simple and easy. All right, everybody, that concludes this video. Let me know in the comment section below, did you buy the dip? If so, what project did you buy? And as always, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, check out the links in the description box below for some free crypto. And remember, do your own research. See you in the next video. Peace out.